Hello there, and welcome back to Poland. Last time, well, we were attacked by a uh, coalition, and it almost screwed me over. I still have the coalition issue, per se. We have the uh, crest expansion with Connacht, which means that I can't actually vassalize them. We uh, don't have to worry about England at this moment, however, but they are being beaten by the French pretty, uh, pretty harshly. So, I am very tempted to see if I can potentially get in lines running with the Castilians, but... Uh, doesn't seem like that is an option since they're allied with the French. So it's kind of a gamble. Portugal has dealt with Morocco pretty uh, neatly here, which is uh, kind of a pain in the ass. And you can also see them actually started colonizing in Africa. A way to counter this is potentially going off the Mamluks, taking the provinces in this area right here, and just building a fleet slash uh, colonization setup from here, going down, taking the western coast of Africa all of the islands, things like that, it could be a yeah, potential way to solve that, but I don't think I can afford that if I want to have any chances of taking control over Europe. It's still a little bit uh, too, well, too weird, and we also need to deal with the Muscovites that are being a, uh, a nuisance, but uh, for now they are fine. So I think the plan is, as usual, we'll just allow manpower to reinforce, we'll wait for Connacht to leave the coalition, then we'll attack Connacht, We'll try and get Riga, Portu no, Riga and the Teutonic Order annexed. I kind of made a big blunder here, but uh, we'll see if uh, if I can't fix it, more or less. We'll see how it goes. Military Attack 7 has been reached, they're limber. With that, we get Military Attack for 0 0.25, Entry Fire by 0 0.10, Artillery Fire by a whole point. And we can now start, well, using uh, Artillery. Large Cars, Bronze Mordor and Hoof Knees. All shades are level 7, France is level 7, but uh, as you can see overall, we are among the top. And England at level 5 should potentially crumble once I actually end up attacking them. Also the fact that the Hansa has left the coalition makes that I'm very tempted to go after Hamburg and Lauenburg, but uh, I think I'll just stay quiet for now. I'm improving relations with uh, Connacht in an attempt to have them decide to leave the coalition, but... Uh, I have to see if it works. I don't really need to improve my relations with Scotland anymore. Riga has top relations, so I don't have to worry about that either. I just need to get people to leave the coalition so I can then start fabricating claims and otherwise just uh, be my uh, be my duty self again, more or less. That is at least the plan. But if it will work, is a another story entirely. In fact, the Teutonic Order there actually already has full. Uh, on the ideas puts me in a kind of awkward position. The only thing, other thing I could do is probably just send a gift, which uh, I think does not bring the it brings them almost up to the level where they need to be. So that is good. I'm going to take a chance here. I'm going to already fabricate a claim on one of their provinces because I do need that claim unless I want to sacrifice more stability, which I really don't. So we are going to fabricate a claim there. We're probably also, as I said, going to fabricate claims on uh, the Hansen's provinces. These ones they are definitely going to be. Uh, Definitely going to be useful. Ignore heresy, I can crack down heresy or ignore it. In this case, I guess we'll sacrifice that those third diplomatic power to crack down on it. Again, I don't really want to take anything else here. I don't really need it. Having a lot of mercenaries could be useful, but uh, for the time being, we'll just leave things as they are. I just want that adaptability to make a core or coring a little bit cheaper. Well, this sucks. I lost my Cassius Belli on uh, England and got a new one on Cornwall. <laughs> Uh, it means I need to refabricate my claim, which is hilarious. But it doesn't matter. I can probably do that with ease, to be perfectly honest. And also, as you can see, there's two new, uh, well, countries to some degree that I can use to, well, border England. Or well, England itself being injured through France is a positive thing. But it also kind of makes a very scary France here that we definitely need to deal with. They've already gone a pretty decent distance into the Holy Roman Empire. And Venice being strong as well makes things even worse. Ratibor and Breslau. I need to refabricate my claims on the uh, on Bohemia should I decide to attack them. The same with Brandenburg. But uh doesn't matter. We're very close at least to getting or being able to uh, annex these guys. 2nd of October uh, this year. We'll start the annexation of both, I think. It shouldn't take too long and we have enough uh, diplomatic diplomacy power to just uh, pull it off right away I think but I'm a little bit sure what I want to do with uh, Cornwall and Northumberland if I could I'll probably just go straight out uh, attack right now but uh, 
I I can't read. I can't call the provinces. So it wouldn't make any sense for me to do to do just that. So we'll have to wait a little while longer. We could go for basic financial instruments here, which would give an increase in trade range, which won't actually give an increase in colonial range, which is what is needed to uh, do coring. The trade efficiency and trade range isn't that important, and I do view getting these two annexed a bit higher than uh, than just uh, than uh, damn than uh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck on my tongue. I view being able to annex those more than a little bit of in trade efficiency increase, so we'll not be doing that. I think I'm just going to true relations with... If I can ally Portugal on my own later, that would actually be pretty damn good. Ally them, get a royal marriage, hopefully get a claim to their throne. Could be useful, but I don't think that will be the case. Austria has a... which is Council of the Weak King. But I don't think that will help too much. Allying Portugal right now makes no sense. They claim war on these guys. Well, she will join actually, so that is at least a positive thing. So yeah, I think we're actually going to annex those two nations. Then we're going to refabricate claims on uh, on England. Then we're going to declare on England, drag Austria into it. We'll see if that works or not. There we go, we got just a free stability point. We also got uh, Riga integrated here, which is good. That means that I now actually have a pretty uh, continuous land. We also can pass the Advanced Religion Act, which we will not. We don't want to get any high revolt risk than we already have. That sounds like a bad idea. What I can do, however, is take a... Well, do another upgrade in Admin Tech. Noble Republic, level 7. With that, that, we do need to get that uh, another group of ideas, and I'm pretty sure we'll go for diplomacy here. I do need more diploma diplomats if I want to pull things off here more or less. So I think we'll be going for, uh, for getting that, as you know, extra diplomat right off the bat. Production efficiency increased by 10% thanks to the uh, Polvak system, the Polish idea. And uh, that extra diplomat will do uh, just fine. I am going to fabricate a claimer, I think, on... Locus Chire. Oh. I'm a little bit not sure where I actually want to fabricate a claim. We'll just fabricate a claim and then we'll we'll, <laughs> we'll figure it out on, down the line. I still need these guys to leave the coalition though before I can do anything or do any big moves. If I were to attack Bohemia, will that make them leave? Potentially. And I also want to get the claims that I need on the Hansa to... Uh, to actually, uh, well, go through here and start coring some of my provinces. I think that's fine. We're going after Lauenburg and this one here. Now, Magdeburg is actually on a conquering spree here, so going after them as well is not, probably not the worst of ideas. And I'm pretty sure they actually left the coalition. Yeah, they did. They also don't have the, uh, they also don't have the strongest of allies. So potentially here, I could make uh, a lot of things work. We'll see how it goes. Well, this is kind of bad. Castile has got the Iberian wedding. I'm a little bit unsure if that make will make the breakthrough alliance with France. If they had, that would have been uh, pretty damn wonderful. But if not, we are definitely in uh, a troublesome position here with France just well stomping on more or less everyone. But uh, we'll see how it plays out. If we can stop them, that would be wonderful. I think it might be time here to go for a war against uh, England, even though we haven't gotten Connacht just yet. It could potentially make Connacht well, calm down to some degree. I'm just going to go for, I think, the Scottish provinces, these two, and potentially here we'll take... I honestly don't know if we'll take anything else. It, it's kind of why I wanted Connor to be vassalized before that. What we might do instead here is go for uh, Portugal. Take some of the Portuguese provinces and move from there. Again, I'm a little bit sure on the details of if we can actually pull that off without, well, getting into trouble through... To, due to the uh, distance of course which is not actually something I considered to be or did consider to be too much of an issue when I started this game potentially here I'm a little bit unsure I decide on details but uh, we'll see I think it's time for war here I just haven't decided on whom we can go after Magdeburg I have claims on Stade and Lerneburg which means I'll probably just take the, those two 
it should allow me to cool this one, and thus we can actually start moving westward, which is definitely, uh, definitely, uh, good. Kornoi still don't like me, but I'm pretty sure that if I conquer land in this territory here, they might leave the coalition, so that's definitely good. A positive, uh, note here. We also have some claims on, uh, Bohemia here, so potentially attacking them also is a good idea, but I don't know how good idea since they're allied with Savoy and Brunswick. But uh, I think what we'll first do here is just like the war on Magdeburg, and then if we have the opportunity, we'll probably go straight for uh, straight for uh, Bohemia afterwards. I would presume that to be fine. We'll not be calling in Austria. I kind of want them strong, and having them lose well soldiers would not be that bad since they're Holy Roman Emperor, but. I kind of want to, as I said, keep them strong. It will make things a lot easier for me in the future. And potentially a vassalize in Geldrace. Geldrace is also a potential plan, but I don't know. They basically have publicly claims on everything around them. And uh, a little bit more, so it's kind of a... They kind of have a hilarious situation going over there. But uh, for now, we'll just siege what we can here. And as I said, I'll be going for Stada and Lauenburg. Don't really need uh, too much else, I think. And if I can, I will attack Bohemia. I'm pretty sure about that. So, with that said, let's see how uh, how this turns out. I think we're actually just going to go ahead here to declare one Bohemia. It shouldn't be an issue. We're already fabricating claims. Taking uh, as many provinces as I'm planning to is potentially a very, very bad idea. So, on second thought, we're going to wait until we are as close to the end here as possible. And uh, basically declare war on the day before we make peace. Something along those lines. Or Conrad might become a target before that if they uh, if they are, well, kind more or less. We'll see what we end up with here. Well, I might just be in trouble here. Austria is, uh, well, needs aid in the war against Hungary, France, Brittany, Castile and Aragon. That's a hilariously scary list. Brittany, Brittany France, Castile, Aragon or Spain. And Hungary, that is a very weird list. I think we'll decline. <laughs> Again, it's probably not the best idea, but we'll decline that. Thank you very much. I'm not interested in getting myself into a war that will screw me over to the potential of that badly. No, sorry, we'll not be doing that. What we will be doing instead is most likely just fight... Uh... Are we at war with Holstein too? No, it's just, uh, it's just Lithuania that got himself a military axis, which is fairly alright, I guess. Uh, we'll probably just fight Bohemia on our own. I think we are ca we are capable of doing that. Conquest against Bremen and Lüneburg. Now, why would you do that? <laughs> why would you do that? that, that uh, that's just mean. You messed up my walls, you dunce. Lüneburg, you are bound to be conquested. And Magdeburg, you're about to be uh, just ignored. I think I'll go just go for white piece here if I can. I can't because it's a uh, it's a douche. But uh, I'll take out these two. It doesn't really matter. It's basically the exact same scenario with two well different states in this case. And we are going to do this. Allow our well. We're going to send these guys into Altmark and. Uh, just punish Magdeburg here. We're going to take as much money as I can from them. So, uh, the plan is the same. It's just more states, which I believe actually gives me a little bit more aggressive expansion by doing this, but uh, we'll wait and see what we actually end up with here. Military Tech 8 has been reached. The pike and shot, and we're actually ahead of uh, the French here. Military Tech by 0 0.25, combat width increased by a whole point, infantry shot fire by 0 0.25, cavalry shock by a whole point, and we get training fields, and we can also build a march. Which is a little bit, uh, a little bit hilarious here. Although they generally are ahead of us in tech here with their economic and offensive ideas. So yeah, I'd presume they are a little bit ahead of us, unfortunately. But that's France for you. Muscovy definitely needs to get uh, slowed down soon. But the religious ideas is hope, <laughs> uh, or luckily enough, slowing them down for me. I idea if they actually have a colonization idea as the first national idea. Are the Russian ideas? I can't check that here, can I? Nope. Pretty sure it's not that. I don't think it's anything that does has anything to do with colonization. I can always check next time, so it's not really a a well, big concern here. I think we're going to make peace. No, we're going to declare war then make peace. 
I think that is a fitting uh, statement here. Brunswick, Saxony, and Savoy. Not really scary. It should be perfectly alright to declare war. We'll just hang back for the beginning of this war, I think. It should be perfectly alright to just do so. Bohemia, Saxony, Thuringia, and Savoy. Not really a scary set of, well, friends to some degree. But we are going to go ahead here and next these guys. Full annexation. Not that much aggressive expansion, but no one likes when the Holy Roman Empire becomes smaller. So they'll probably get quite pissed. Just take two years though to core it, so it's not a it's not a horrible situation, I think. But uh, surprisingly enough, two of them already joined the coalition again, so basically just going to be jumping back and forth between coalition and warfare to some degree. Which is going to again be quite annoying. But it should be fine. We'll continue next time. As you know, I think I should go to say this in the early episodes, but um, I think you realize by now that I'm running Alderman and Poland side by side until part 10 or approximately the 1500s. And then we'll see who is in the best idea to take this for a, uh, or in the best position to take this for a complete world conquest. I'll probably go back to the Odyssey later on, but uh, we'll see which is in the best position and who I'll take. I'll probably do a, uh, I'll probably take a take on it on uh, the 11th episode, it'll probably just be a comparison. And uh, my reasoning behind taking one over the other, but uh, I couldn't. I didn't. I didn't manage to separate the two uh, plans in my uh, in my head, and I found it interesting to test out which one gave me the best start, and which one would potentially then be uh, the best option for attempting this. So uh, feel free to comment on it, of course. But uh, unfortunately, I have to record, so I can't really. Uh, I can't really do much. Potentially, I will. Potential release episode 11 as ep episode 1, and uh, it will be spoilers then, but I'll see. I'll, I'll decide it later on. Again, it's due to the fact that I have to pre record, or well, I don't have to pre record, but if you want any content during the summer, I kind of have to. It makes things a little bit weird. But uh, I am. I was interested in doing both, really, so we'll see what gives me the best start after most reach the 1500s. And right now, I think. Uh, I'm a little bit unsure, but we'll see what we end up with. Thank you for watching. Please have a comment, phrase criticism, anything you feel like, and I'll see you around next time. Bye.